Cancer, Gemini, this is going to be your reading for the month of May. We will be checking your current, recent, past, near future, and advice cards. And remember guys, these guys, these readings are general. They may or may not resonate. If they don't, please check your other placements. Because, um, you know, sometimes in general, the method just isn't for everyone. It's for a certain group of people. If you would like a personal reading, the information for that is in the description bo that box down below. And without further ado, let's get into this. Let's see what you have going on in the month of May. And you know your birthday season's coming up, Gemini. Happy birthday. So let's see. Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. Interesting. Ace of Pentacles. The Lover's card. Gemini, your own energy is here. Oof. Okay. I'm just going to shuffle a little more. The Star card. Okay. We've got like two major arcanas on the table here. Wow, okay. There is definitely some heartbreak happening. Whether it happens, remember, guys, energies can be vice versa. I do read from your point of view, from Gemini's. Cross Watcher, feel free to reverse it. Five pieces. Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, interesting. Let's see, Gemini. So. We've got the Ten of Wands here, which is, you know, releasing burdens, feeling burden, not releasing it because that would be in reverse. Sorry, my bad. But um, it's feeling burdened by a situation and it's like something that you have put in a lot of work in and now you're tired of putting in a lot of work in that. And this, it was in the past. So this is your recent past though. So this is how you were feeling recently or maybe, you know, the month of April was kind of like that. You were feeling a, very burdened and stressed. Um... I'm getting a love situation because we do have the lover's card and the a three of swords. It doesn't have to be. Take it as it resonates. But it's funny that nine and ten both of wands come back to back. Because it's like almost there. I'm almost, I'm tired of putting work in. I just want to wrap up and go. I don't want to put in any more effort. And then ten of wands is, yeah, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm taking my wands and I'm leaving. So it's like you were putting in a lot of work into something and I'm getting the relationship. So it was someone that you were putting a lot of work in with a connection. You know, you were constantly doing things and you just like, it's a lot of work for you is what I'm getting. It's like you got frustrated of being the one who's keeping the spark alive all the time. Um, and I'm kind of getting a fiery energy from you. So I'm seeing that you were the one who was always working on keeping the spark alive if you were in a relationship or in a connection and you were the one always initiating and doing the work bringing that you know conversation to light and you know bringing like interesting stuff to it and Gemini you are known for that you guys do have that free spirit you know happy energy but I think it was a lot of burden on you and you just got tired of that because you just feel like Whoever it was that you were dealing with, it's like they were just not matching your energy and it's just so annoying to you. Because how long are you going to put in that effort? Um, but now I see that you're stable with this person. So I'm going to clarify the 10 and 9 of wands. Yeah, see, we've got the seven of pentacles in reverse, which is, you know, done waiting. I'm like done putting in the effort. And I think you feel a lot of burden. And this person, however, right now, it looks like the things are fine. But like in the past, I think you were struggling a lot in this connection. You felt very burdened with it. And now you're in this energy where you feel like, yeah, we're stable. This is something, you know, it's an offer of stability. It's an offer of abundance. Um, two of pentacles in reverse I think it was a decision that you made like to stay with this person and like just put in the work I think you didn't really give up even though you felt burdened and really tired of doing all the work you didn't really give up you kept doing that and now your hard work has paid off now you and this person are in a place where you have achieved the ace of pentacles which is stability and you know the calm after the like before the storm no not before the storm but i will say before the storm because 
we have the three of swords and guys i'm sorry if anything offends you in this reading but i am just reading what i see here okay so and then we have the lovers card with the ace so i'm seeing that you are in a good place in this relationship right now you both are you know it's like this is your soulmate this is definitely this could even be a karmic partner honestly it doesn't have to be a soulmate but this is someone you're meant to be with right now so whoever you're dealing with right now you're meant to deal with them um i definitely see you know a divinely guided soulmate connection here but at the same time we've got the ace of pentacles which also shows a lot of stability so this person doesn't only just offer you that beautiful emotional happy connection but they also offer you stability in your life uh, this person also makes your life easier in some way because in the past i see that you were burdened uh, but now you're with them and if this is a connection that hasn't really got taken like gotten to the other level because i'm getting like two different stories okay so let me finish the first one. First one is you're in a relationship with someone okay you feel a lot of burden. You feel like you have to always be the one making things interesting and you have to work a lot harder than the other person to keep the spark alive. And then after your hard work, it has all finally paid off. And now this person, you know, you're in the Ace of Pentacles with them, with the Lover's card. Now you have the proper relationship with them. And, you know, it's like equal give and take. And it's just that there's stability and they, there's abundance in this relationship. Okay, and I'm going to clarify these cards before I move on to the near future, which is not looking very good, but it's looking good for you though. That's weird. Okay, so whoever this person is that you're dealing with, you're with uh, Seven of Swords. It, it could mean that either you or they play a lot of games, okay? Maybe they play a lot of games, they play hard to get. That's why you were feeling so much burden because it's like I have to work so hard to get your attention and they're still playing games in some way which is why you feel this like my ear is ringing the fool in reverse okay huh so I'm getting that you view this person as your stability it's not that they bring that to you it's like you view them as someone who brings stability to your life and that's why you think they're your soulmate, they're your, they're, they are your other half. But then at the same time, this person plays hard to get. And they, you know, they are very logical, but they just like act. It's like they act very unattainable, right? And then in the near future, I see the three of swords. So if, if, okay guys, I'm not going to lie, that's the cheater card, okay? So this person could have someone else on the side. It's a warning. But I will clarify that and let's see why this is here. Okay, why is the Three of Swords here? Queen of Swords. Okay, so this could just be you, Gemini. There is a lot of your own energy here. But I definitely see some sort of heartbreak here. Because you think that this is not your wish fulfillment? This is weird. This is a very weird reading. This is like back and forth here, the Hierophant. Okay. So I'm getting that you want something. Let's move on to the second story because I think the first story is just not making sense to me. I'm so sorry, guys. But I'm seeing, okay, so you're connecting with someone. You're working to get someone's attention. You're getting working on someone or something that you want stability out of you want this person to take you seriously and stop playing hard to get that you want them to stop you know acting so unattainable and you know high and mighty you want them to be clear with you and you know put in the same type of effort match your energy but they don't do that because i think this is what you desire with this person you desire that stability you want them long term you think that this is someone that can bring you the stability in your life and you want them to be your other half you want them to meet you halfway and you know be your soulmate be your person but i'm seeing that this person plays too many games to be doing that and that's funny gemini every time i do your reading someone is playing games and i'm sorry but it's always like this <sighs> but i'm just reading what i see okay I'm not biased here at all. I just see that 
this person plays a lot of game there they just don't give you exactly what you want and i think that's why that's how they keep your interest gemini by playing hard to get by playing hot and cold with you that's how they keep your interest and it's like you maybe keep going back to this person again and again and it's like it's like feeling like you can't break free of them i think maybe that's why the lover lover's card is here because you feel energetically tied to this person that even when you feel tired and burdened by them some part of you still wants this stability this long-term commitment and you know fulfillment with them and then in the near future we have the three of swords happening so there is some sort of heartbreak some sort of pain that will be caused to you and it is because of some communication that's happening maybe you will call this person out maybe you will call this person out on their behavior maybe you will tell them hey why do you keep playing hard to get and that's going to cause you pain because maybe they will not be i'm getting they will not react to it very well they might even get offended and leave you. And uh, then we have the Hierophant card. Because I'm seeing that you are telling them how you feel about them. I see that you are telling them that you want stability with them. You want this soulmate connection with them. You want them to stop playing this games, these games. And you want them to be clear with you. They, you want them to match your energy, you know. And be honest with you about things, how they feel about you and everything. And you want something... You want a marriage with this person. You definitely view this person as marriage material. But I think... I think this person has someone on the side. Gemini, I'm sorry. I'm like trying to twist the story. And like I'm trying to like not say it. But it is there. And if I don't read it this way. I don't think I have another story for you. This is what I'm getting. This person has someone else on the side. And if they don't have someone else on the side. There's some sort of heartbreak. They are going to break your heart is what i'm seeing i think you're asking the wrong person for the what you want i understand that you desire this but you're asking the wrong person it's like barking up the wrong tree and i think you're going to communicate about that and that is what's causing this heartbreak and then you're going into the star energy because i think you think this person is your wish fulfillment and you've been wishing for this to happen and finally that like you have that conversation and it doesn't happen i don't think if they reject you instead of taking things to the next level with you i don't think you'll be hurt though i think you will be hurt there will be heartbreak but you will recover from it very quickly you will move on really fast and you will let go of that pain and you will take those lessons and you will pour it into the pool of your knowledge and you'll be like it's okay my real my true soulmate will come to me my true soulmate will come to me. My real desire will come to me. And I know that because I put in the work. I worked hard. I didn't do anything wrong. And what goes around comes around. The karma will be served. And you know, I can't control anybody else's actions. I'm going to... At least I was clear about what I wanted. At least I communicated. You know, I put myself out there. And okay, it's like it broke my heart. But I'm not going to let that distract me from the fact that it's like knowing that the right person for you would not do this for you. Do this to you. Sorry, I'm in a trance here. <sighs> I'm going to just see here. The lover's card. Please clarify the lover's card. Knight of Wands. Hmm. Could be a fire sign possibly, but Knight of Wands is just... I think this person has a lot of desire for you but it's just mostly sexual is what i'm getting like they want you but they want you like very sexually they don't want you they i don't think they're in a place where they want something long term and i'm getting that there might be another person that they're here with you know this could even be a married person that you're in love with and you want them to you know walk away from because i'm getting so many stories here but but i'm getting two people involved one person loves the other person so much they desire this long-term commitment this stability with them and they want this soulmate connection this person one person is viewing this other person as their soulmate but the other person plays games they play hard to get they are a juggler they don't put in they don't match your this other person's energy they just want to keep things casual you know they might not even be serious about you and when this one person who is who's the one in love with this person 
finally breaks their silence and says, hey, I want something next level with you. They get turned down. Or they find out about the other person. And then I get the star card. But this person who was in love doesn't let that hold them back. And Gemini, that's you. You don't let it hold you back. You work on yourself. You work on your spiritual healing. You work on your self-love. You work on your wisdom, your knowledge that you have gained from this heartbreak. And you move on with that. You understand that this doesn't define one person's rejection or one person breaking your heart doesn't define what the future holds it you won't let it influence you is what i'm getting yep you you will move on with confidence you will move on with a lot of confidence here and i definitely see feeling stuck so you might feel stuck in a, a like self-deception so i think your advice is to not let what this person do you, does to you or the way this person treats you don't let that influence you you I th and I think you will keep your head high at least in the month of May you are keeping your head high and you're moving forward with a lot of faith in the universe and a lot of faith in yourself as well and then your advice is the high priestess so your advice basically is to avoid this conversation and just observe this person if this is something casual but you want something more out of it I would say take more time at least for the month of May I would say just analyze this person instead of asking them for something higher. I mean, of course, go ahead, by all means, do it. But I think the warning here is that this person might have someone else. There might be a third party involved here, Gemini, and you need to do some spy work is what I'm getting. Because, <laughs> you know, the high priestess, she's very intuitive. Listen to your intuition. Listen to what your intuition is telling you right now, okay? And do your research and keep it quiet. Don't show this person that you know you have this feeling if you feel like they might have someone else if this reading is resonating with you at all your advice is to take a step back and really tap into your intuition get in touch with your intuition and see like really see what's going on because see the high priestess is someone like there's nothing hidden from her she's very intuitive she's very empathic she knows exactly what's what and that's your advice. And you know, Gemini, you guys are like Pisces and Gemini are like two of those signs that are very psychic naturally. So that's why I think like really follow your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams and pay attention to what your gut is telling you about this person before you go towards them with any communication about this, I would say. And then we have the three of cups in reverse, which means cutting out options, like kind of it's like self-isolation in a way. But your advice is to just take a step back and see things from all point of views. And also don't stop juggling people. So this could very easily be you because I, the three of cups is your advice. So if you are the one who might be getting cheated on, or might be involved in a th third party situation and you're the one who's in love your advice is to next time don't get involved in things like this don't get involved in people you know might be with someone else don't get involved with people who are married or you know in other commitments don't get involved with people who are secretive and play play games with you and if you are the one who is like not putting in the effort and you're the one who is cheating on someone or you know playing games with someone then your advice is to stop doing that well that's what i have for you tarot wise let's see what my advice is for you and remember guys energies are vice versa this could go take this as it resonates okay i'm just a messenger stop talking and start listening so see, that's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe you need to just, like, not have this conversation. And remember, guys, like, tarot is tarot. Anything that I, like, there's any future predictions and you don't like it, you can always shift your energy and not align with it anymore. You have the power to do that, right? I think you need to get in touch with your intuition. That's, like, a very strong, strong thing that you need to do, especially if it, when it comes to this connection that you're dealing with right now. I think you need to take a step back and not really see anything to pers this person because i think whatever conversation you might go if you go accusing them of something or go like go at them like 
asking them for more clarity i think they might just break your heart and it might just come off pushy to them so your advice is to just take a step back and follow your intuition tap into that in those psychic abilities that you have just like really i'm not saying psychic abilities i'm just saying your intuition everyone has a gut feeling right listen to it and pay attention to your dreams stop talking and start listening so just pay attention is what it's saying start listening to your intuition yep and your advice is follow your heart i'm always rewarded when i follow my heart i trust the gps and my heart knows all the best routes and when it seems like it's taking too long to get where I want, I know that's because there's some cool weird stuff to see along the way. This card aligns perfectly with the star card. The star card is, you know, having faith that when even when the heartbreak, hap heartbreak happens, even when you feel stuck, you know that you will come out. It's all meant to be. It's like that. It's like you just know that the right thing for you is coming to you and... Sometimes, you know, you go, you have to go through a few wrong doors before you find the right door for yourself. Well, that's all I have for you, Gemini, for the month of May. I will do quick readings and I'll try to do love readings soon too. Um, if this resonates, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.